to this part. You know, it's really great. I mean, you know, what is it about the mill? And, and it was about just like this kind of energy between people and kind of understanding people and then them kind of taking a chance on it. love about this place that they are open to anybody from any background come and come and try come and come here and you have the freedom to explore it. finding a spirit and a sensibility and found that just like, so mega here Yeah, I, mean, I think from from day one I kind of jumped in really. The first, like as you say, the first thing was was Gazamps. Um, I think that's the best thing here as well. You just kind of you just get involved in whatever projects happening that week, and you you kind of get to know everyone. And, and you know, it's not long before you're sort of working with everyone. You know, the best thing about being here is. You, know, you don't necessarily have to be into what everyone's doing, but the fact that there's just loads of people around on every floor doing stuff, it kind of just inspires you to, to get on with it, really. It's, I guess the beauty of me being here is I've got all this recording set up, so that's kind of led me to recording bands that have been here, um, particularly like a two weeks sort of stint recording Nod and working on their album with them. Um, and I'm very much into that because none of us none of us are earning a great deal of money with what we do it's more of a passion sort of thing so the fact that I've got all of this equipment I'm more than happy to facilitate other people's projects so there's some very strong visual work going on here and some of them have done sort of covers for stuff I've been involved in um, and I've done music for them likewise with video um, you know, there's lots, lots of crossovers really. So where I'd be, where I was straight experimental music, it's kind of quite easy. You know, if I want to want to get into sound art, it's quite easy to just set up downstairs and do something. If I want to make films, it's quite easy to kind of provide music for someone who's making film. have it's become a real like room for me come in and have my own space to completely get into whatever I'm doing hadn't painted for a long time and then this has given me the, the freedom to explore other creative avenues not just music so my music has flourished because now I've got a space where I can do that whenever I want and likewise I'm just in my own little bubble in my own little world within a world in here This place is full of full of people doing amazing stuff and it really creates a, a momentum whereby you are constantly influenced by 
you're, you're influenced by your surroundings anyway. So then once you're surrounded in a place like this, which has got so many different disciplines of work happening and such good quality, um, it really pushes my drive to do that myself as well. So, so yeah, it's been really good and it's open for collaboration as well. There's so many people to collaborate with that come in and out of here, that pass through, that are based here. You meet so many people here and it really, really opens up avenues for you that you might not have had access to without this place. Like Root, it kind of feels like there's a big barrier to get through, like you, you, you're not allowed to do art almost, you know, which is fundamentally wrong really because art shouldn't be based on what you've been able to learn. It's like expression at its like root. And this place is absolutely fantastic for that. If you're not from an art background, they're so open to ideas. So if you come to the table with something, an idea, they are open to you to try that. So I think that's good as in it's breaking down, it's breaking down barriers which shouldn't be there for creative expression. So that's one of the things that I love about this place that they're open to anybody from any background come and come and try, come and come here and you have the freedom to explore. And in fact, what I think is really good at, about this place is it gives you the ability to find out who you are. It gives you the time and the space and the freedom to discover who you are. Islington Mill is a, is a pioneer for that, I think. So Cheryl is a video and performance collective based in Brooklyn. We, in addition to creating our video work, uh, we also do sort of immersive installations and galleries and museums, and also um, we cross boundaries into nightlife. Uh, so we were invited to be artists in residence at Islington Mill in 2012. Our residency culminated in sort of a, a a big event um, that was we we worked with like many performers and DJs and um, it was it was a big to do. The first time we came to the mill, we were introduced to the Volkov Commanders, and there was sort of a, an immediate kinship and the sort of things they were working with music and dance and costuming. Decided to work together, so we put together an event called Psychic Rhythm Abduction. Because we fostered such strong connections and the mill really introduced us to a number of artists that we're continuing to collaborate with and we've built relationships with, which has been amazing. We have come back over the years. The mill came over to New York. There was an artist takeover, um, which was amazing. Um, and many other artists were working at Flux Factory in Long Island City. Um, again, the Volkov Commanders, uh, worked with us to produce a, an amazing event at the Masonic Temple. We sort of found a second home in, in the mill. I think that coming from New York, Islington Mill was a revelation for us. Just the fact that they fostered, you know, there were no restrictions. It was total freedom. It was total chaos. And there was no pressure put on us as artists to produce a final product. The mill was like, I think, our first real opportunity to just be given a chance as artists to just explore and play and create, which was um, amazing and crucial for our development. I made loads of artwork, mainly wallpaper, which has been visible outside the mill for a while. 
we're part of the community for the past five years. <laughs> Spirit of the Mill knows how to party. <laughs> yeah, we put on a New Year's event featuring the bug. Um, that was with uh, the Fat Out Girls. We had a thousand people turn up. <laughs> There's no place like the mill that I've ever seen or been at. It's uh, There's always someone to talk to. There's always someone around. And always a creative mind to, to share mm. your ideas with and see what and just see things differently and look at things differently. Um, especially in summertime. Summertime's just mint, like, courtyard, sunshine, people everywhere. Like, it's just, it's like our little paradise in the middle of the city. We tend to design for arts and culture based clients, so sort of print and publication work. We do a lot of teaching as well at different universities and then we also run um, a risograph collective, print collective called Mono. That's a shared thing between the five of us that are based in our studio. And Mono is the only Rizzo machine in the mill so we can produce uh, a lot of different people's things for them at quite a reduced rate. For us it means that we get to work with all our friends in the mill and I guess for the mill it means that there's a, a nice way to quickly mass produce things. Uh, our studio is on the first floor of the mill which is right next to the common room and we're really happy with it being here. We actually asked for it to be here when we moved in because it lets us uh, open the doors and we can run workshops that are both in the common room and in our studio and flow between the two. And it's also really nice because it's the kind of the first part of call for quite a lot of people. It's a really nice yeah. feeling on this floor. There's a lot of good people here. Mm. Um, I think we've met so many people since we moved into the mill. Like we've made loads of friends. Um, we've got business out of it. Yeah, the network of the mill is really interesting. It's been really useful for us. It's really valuable. People always know where you mean if if you say you know hello, I'm a graphic designer, I work at Islington Mill. Everyone knows what it is, it's like a real landmark, isn't it, for people? I think moving forward, some of the things that are just impossible for any of us to fix could be fixed, uh, especially opening up for the top floor, it'd, be, it'd just be an amazing space. It's one of the most unique mills in Manchester, isn't it, really? Like, structurally and in terms of the kind of cross-section of people that work here and the way it's run, the kind of events and things that it has going on. It's really well populated, which is rare. It's always busy. There's always something going on. There's always somebody here. It'd just be great to see all of that continue and expand. Been coming to the mill for the past... That must be 10 years. Yeah, I did a few projects for this club night they used to do called Club Brenda. Did a few live art performances for that and then always just floating around really. Had a studio here for the past two and a half years. My own practice is, I describe it as like a graphic artist. Do a lot of illustration, painting. More recently been doing some like soundscapes and bits of music and that's kind of evolved very much from being in the mill. It's quite an inspiring place to be in that sense. No one's closed off about what they're doing. I think like like any space like this, it's const always going to change and evolve. I think as long as the driving force behind it is the same, then the building and whatever else is in it will probably change and evolve in something else. But as long as that same ethos behind it stays the same, I think it'll just carry on with what it is. Because people have got such an emotional attachment to it, Whenever it changes, there's always going to be, ah, oh, it's not like it used to be. But then things can never stay how they used to be because it has to, I guess, evolve for it to... You don't want it to go stale. Uh, so Horrid is myself, Steve Hockett, who's also got a studio here, 
uh, Dan, Alia Hussein, who's got a studio here as well, and a guy called Andy. None of us, apart from Dan, could play any of the instruments that we were playing. Um, so it was, again, just quite like an, an organic thing, just kind of having fun.